amazing Disney family. We are on day six of our Disney Fantasy Halloween cruise adventure. Today we have a day at sea. We are basically going to be doing a whole bunch of activities on the cruise ship. We had a late start, or I had a late start rather, because last night was so much fun. We did so many amazing things. Today, again, we're just gonna be going with the flow and kind of seeing what's out there. If you enjoy Disney Cruise videos, if you enjoy Disney Cruise video tips as well, or any travel Disney vlogging, this is the channel for you. So make sure if you're new here to hit that subscribe button. Let's get this started. I'm gonna train him for the, or her for this diaper dad. Jack Jack diaper dad. We're getting first place. Yep, we're getting first place. All right, Brian. Oh. <laughs> we need Brian's baby to win. <laughs> A few moments later.
That was so awesome seeing the babies race. <laughs> it was so competitive <laughs> seeing them just run around and oh, we gotta go the other way. Oh, I think we can go this way. Seeing them running around and just, you know, them doing what babies do. It was so funny though. Some of them were just like rushing right away. Some of them were like taking some time. That one baby that just sat and was clapping their hands was awesome. We of course wanted Brian and his wife's baby to win, um, but there was just that one baby that just jumped out of the gate and like, went i was like wow like didn't even give anyone a chance so um it is just so awesome highly highly recommend definitely you got to see it it's just so much fun with the family but now we're gonna head over to see the dvc presentation if you didn't know it's about 30 minutes long but the benefit of it is that you get a 30 uh 50 statement credit um which you can use um for whatever you want so i think it's worth it and if you're someone who wants to actually sign up for that it's a win-win so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll take Take it from here. This is my absolute favorite place to be on the ship. I love the little like runway that they have here. I don't know, it's just like the perfect level to the sea. You can see everything. It's awesome. The water looks so good that you just want to like jump in. <laughs> Does anyone have that urge when they're here? They just want to jump in real quick, lift it back onto the ship. Definitely don't do that. The ocean is actually not too crazy. The past couple of days, it's been a little bit choppy, nothing crazy. I will say if that's like the worst it gets, then it's nothing. You know, it was a little bit of choppiness back and forth. But again, I will highly, highly recommend you guys getting yourself the C-Band because they are a work of wonders. I've been using them whenever I felt myself a little bit not feeling too good, like a little bit nauseous, I put it on and it worked. Whether it's psychological or it's actually proven to work, I don't know, but I can tell you from my own experience that it works. So definitely get yourself that if you are concerned about that because I think it's a very good investment. And even if you don't use it, it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. got our lunch at Cabana's. We had a bunch of different things. This looks all delicious, so good. So we're just gonna go ahead and eat this and then um, go from there, probably go to the pool, go to the spa, and out from there. But it has been such an amazing trip. So happy that we did this and I'm just excited because there's still more to come. So we're gonna eat our lunch and then take it from there. So the saddest part of any Disney cruise just happened and that is we got our gratuity slips which means that the cruise is almost over. <laughs> <sighs>
but the good thing about these is that if you've paid your gratuity up front with your package, this will all be um, divvied out for you. So all you have to do is just tear these off at the preferred edges on here on the piece of paper, and then you can hand these to your cast members, the assistant server, the server, the head server, stateroom host, they'll all be able to get this and you can hand it to them. You also can have the option of giving them more. So if you do have cash that you brought on you that you want to add, you can go ahead and do that and then you can hand it to them as well. Um, or you can do the prepaid in that um, you'll be able to have it all divvied up and then you can just tear these off and put them in here and hand it to them as well. But yeah, so that means that we're getting close. We still have a couple more days. Um, so actually, we have one more day technically, but Castaway Key is coming up, which is one of our favorite destinations. It's of course the Disney Island. So I'm excited for that. It's a bittersweet moment because it means that this is all coming to an end, but hope you guys did enjoy this vlog series so far. Again, there's still more to come, so don't go anywhere, but I really appreciate all of you watching up to this point and I hope that you've enjoyed this so far. So now we're just gonna get changed and we're gonna head up to the adult section of the ship and just go in the pool, read a book, and probably go to the census spot. All right, so we made it back to the room. We're actually changed um, because we were gonna be going to our mixology. We kind of just hung around and was just relaxing and went and used the spa. So I'm sorry if there's like a weird gap between when we last saw you and now, but now we're gonna head up to Palo because that is where our actual mixology class is gonna be. And then from there, we're gonna have dinner and then we will see what else the day brings. But it's been an awesome day to just relax at the sea and just kind of decompress from all the amazing fun and journeys that we've been having along this trip. So let's go do this and I'll see you guys there. Hello Ramona I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond Thank you for cruising the awesome young lady at the Disney Bank. How is your cruise so far? Amazing. Great, no? No. Yeah. We don't take it here, man, like that. Listen to me carefully. You're cruising on a fantastic I see seven star floating hotel. So you're <laughs> me. Excellent. How is it? Excellent. Excellent. That's what I'm talking about. Short of hand that has kids in the kids' club. You know what to do, right? Sign them in and walk away. <laughs> because you know I was here waiting for you, right? <laughs> we are not only like the United Nations, but we are like Rosetta Stone. <laughs> Yeah. Can 
Arriba, abaja, venta, That's amazing. Wow. Keep doing it. You gotta keep You gotta keep your <laughs> I hope you enjoyed as much as I enjoyed having you. On behalf of my two lovely and some young men, Mr. Kung Fu Panda and his nosy neighbor, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> When you get off the ship, the cruise is over. Go out and enjoy the rest of your vacation. It is still a couple hours away. You have at least 72 hours to enjoy the rest of the cruise. Go ahead. If you see somebody with a situation, don't take it up on you. Situation means you don't want to get involved. In Jamaica, we say, when anybody has a problem, we sweep it away, we call it no linger. Mm. Means you kick away somebody else's stress and problems and you go ahead and enjoy your vacation. You understand what I said? Yes. 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 Vacation is vacation. You work 365 days of the year. You don't need to take on something that doesn't belong to you. Mm -hmm. If a backpack is not yours, leave it where you seize it. <laughs> right? Yes. 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 <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we just got through with the mixology. That was a great time. There was so many amazing drinks that we had that were really, really good. She incorporated a lot of like just natural like fruits and stuff like that into a drink. And it was like, those drinks were the dangerous ones because you couldn't really tell that there was alcohol and tequila in it because of how amazing it was mixed together with those natural fruits like mango and ginger. And there was one under one as well. Um, but it was amazing. It was awesome. But now we are getting ready, dressed in formal outfit, the same outfit that I wore to Mixology, to go to our dinner tonight, which is gonna be at the Royal Court, and uh, we're gonna take it from there. So we just made it to Royal Court now. We are feeling those drinks, we can definitely see. <laughs> That's the one thing about mixology. You don't leave drunk, but you leave like feeling, Lit. feeling good, feeling good, feeling good. Feeling a little, feeling great, <laughs> fabulous. So we're just here now, waiting for our food, and then we'll, uh, or waiting to order that, and then um, we'll go from there. soup and Amanda got the eggplant. eggplant. Oxtail soup, amazing. I wonder if they use the same broth as the French onion soup, but it was it's, it's, it's amazing. It was really, really good. I love the oxtail pieces in it. And it comes with tortellini. Hers is, I'm not a huge eggplant fan, so I can't give you an honest review, but I'll let you. It's pretty good. It's stuffed with, I think we're part of cheese is stuffed with, but it's really, really good. What would you give it? Out of five. Out of five? I give it like a four and a half. Perfect. 
Mine, I'd give a five. I like this a lot. I'm not sure how much you want to have, but if you want, I can just pour you everything. <laughs> So I went with the prosciutto cheese and the uh, roasted tomatoes and Amanda, which is really good. Amanda went with her salad. What do you think? It's so delicious. It's so good. This is really, really good. If you're definitely into having um, prosciutto cheese and sun-dried tomatoes, this will be for you. Really, really good. So I went with the pork tenderloin with pimenta and mushrooms, and Amanda went with parmesan crusted chicken, pasta, Alfredo. <laughs> I put the actual name. I don't know what it what it's called, exactly called, but mine's is awesome. Really, really good. It's definitely really good. Awesome. You can't go wrong. I'm telling you guys, that's the one thing about Disney Cruises. Their food is absolutely amazing. No matter where you go. Even a little pop-up shop that around that you can get free chicken fingers and fries. It's amazing. It's all so so good. So you're not gonna go wrong. It might sound like we're broke a record or maybe we're like overhyping it, but I can tell you that every single person that we talk to says the same thing. got through eating dinner at the Royal Court. It was amazing. I didn't really record our reaction to the dessert, but the dessert was awesome. We ended up going with the uh, mint chocolate chip sundae. We had a creme brulee kind of custard, and then we had uh, a homemade apple pie. The apple pie was okay. It wasn't our, you know, the best for our, in our opinion, but all in all, it was great. Um, now we're getting ready to go see Frozen, which I'm super excited to see because we have not seen that at all. So we wanna get a little bit early. Tip for you as well, try to get there as early as you can because seating will become scarce the longer you wait. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And of course, before we do that, gotta give you a little update on the towel of the day. I'm pretty sure this is a penguin, which is awesome. It's our second to last towel of the day update, which is so sad, but we've had a great time. I can't express enough how much we love just being on a Disney cruise. We were just talking about how amazing Disney cruises are. Like Amanda was overhearing a couple talking about it, or even like a group of people in the pool who's been on so many different other cruises. And they've all said how there's just nothing that competes with the Disney cruise line experience because like you're treated like royalty no matter where you're at. Like you don't need to pay for that experience. Well, okay, you are paying for it with the price that you're initially paying for. Is You know, I get that. But what I mean is that you're usually with that type of service, you're like concierge or, you know, on that other level, which in concierge, you're getting an even higher tiered uh, level of taking care of, of hospitality and all that other stuff. So it's still worth it there, but it's just, no matter what you all are taken care of and you all are looked after in such a special way and i give a huge shout out to every single cast member that's on this ship I, if any of you are watching this please know that i appreciate what you do we both appreciate what you do so much it's it's awestruck like i, I there was literally we were talking with the head server and we were saying how we, like i asked her a question like i was saying like i saw a lot of people even our servers holding like mountains of uh plates and they were like walking towards the front i said is that bringing to room service and they're like yeah if someone's not feeling good they don't have to come down here. We bring the whole meal up to them. So they're just like on top of taking care of us and doing everything that we need. They're also taking care of other people who are, you know, not feeling good and bringing up their stuff. And it's just, it's amazing. It's amazing, guys. I can go on for days, but we do have to go to an actual show right now. But again, I can't speak enough to how amazing every cast member is here. I'm telling you, if you haven't gone on a Disney Cruise Line, you got to do it because it is going to change your entire world as far as your expectations for cruising. It's amazing. So right now we're gonna get ready, get situated, and we'll go see Frozen Ever After. Oh, another thing, we actually got a little pixie dust, which is so awesome. Somebody left this on our door and put their room number. That is so awesome. Someone left this on our door. That is amazing. Oh my God, I love that. Oh my God. <laughs> That is so awesome. We appreciate you so much. 
Thank you. I don't know exactly who you are, but I don't know by chances you might be able to see this video. If you do, we highly appreciate it. We're kind of bummed out because we didn't bring anything with us to do that besides what we got, Brian, but we will be prepared next time. I promise I'm going to bring my own pixie dust and I want to spread it around as well because I think that's so cool to kind of just have that surprise. We both were shocked in such a good way. We opened the door and we were like, what that is so cool but we felt so bad because of like we now want to return the favor but i literally don't have anything besides maybe the chocolates from <laughs> from when they do the little animals and i'm not gonna do that to them that's messed up but i highly appreciate it i don't know if i updated you guys on this yet or not but we found this little ducky as well our first actual disney cruise duck this was the information that we saw on it which is so awesome but yeah it's 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 just it's a whole vibe guys we're gonna go down and just hang out and amanda wants to get popcorn with her mickey bucket so it'll give us enough time to finally for once be on time instead of rushing around like we've been doing throughout this entire disney cruise but yeah so we're gonna go do that and um i'll catch up with you guys from there So the consensus is, yeah, definitely get down here because the line is already getting really backed up. There's a lot of people who have the same idea. So definitely come down here as soon as you possibly can so that you don't have to wait on line.